Hello everyone, Plant Assassin here. Wanted to show this small sapling, I guess. Not really a seedling anymore. That's a tree, so this is a velvet mesquite. And I grew this from seed. I purchased a uh, one of the beans off of eBay for really cheap and broke it apart and soaked the seeds and this one sprouted you can see the first true seeds are starting to die off there but it's handling the heat really well I actually just have it on the back patio on the concrete slab and uh, it actually likes the heat it's growing quite a bit so you can see it has leaves uh, similar to the Palo Verde. So, it also has some nasty thorns on it too. These are going to be bad when it gets bigger. Now, I don't know if uh, this plant will necessarily be cold hardy enough for my area. Um, certainly, it's not going to mine the dry Idaho climate, but... I would like to uh, test and see how well it does for the winter. So, Now the reason why this is an interesting plant to me is it produces um, the bean pods and they're about yay long and they're edible. And on this particular variety when they mature they're white. So there's also a, they call it a screw bean mesquite and it's uh, literally it's got like a corkscrew twist in it so and then there's a couple of other varieties too but this species um, after researching I thought was probably the most cold hardy uh, potential so uh, these are supposed to be nitrogen fixing too so that's one nice thing they also have a um, I don't know if a habit or tendency or reputation is probably the word I'm looking for for being somewhat invasive or aggressive in certain areas so they are suited for dry harsh climates where they don't get a lot of rain and where they're nitrogen fixing um, I could see how if you had areas that were uh, not healthy as far as the uh, ecology goes, how these could take over. So, anyway, we'll see how it does. I kind of wanted to get a, a video of it, and uh, hopefully, it'll uh, survive the winter. And, you know, then I'll have my um, mesquite and palo verde. And then underneath that, I'll have uh, goji berries growing. So, I'll have a native goji berries so i'll have a southwest theme i guess i probably better find some cactuses that'll survive here anyway plant assassin we'll see how this experiment goes if you found this video informative please like and subscribe